What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hack Connects. In this video, we got Connect number 11. My guy Q, the creator of Black Made the Brand. Welcome to the platform. Appreciate you, King. I do. No doubt, no doubt. Every time you know, we know we link up, we're always chopping up about business, just branding, you know, small business uplifting. So um, you know, I'm happy the viewers get to hear you out and just bring some awareness to the movement that you got going on. Yeah, yeah. I remember us having those quick conversations up at the mall, man. You got to see how excited I get when I get to talking about this whole movement we got going on. So but at the end of the day, I just appreciate you, um, like I said, trying to trying to um get us out there. You know what I mean? It's just it's the word needs to be spread. A lot of people need to know about it. And uh you doing a service here, King. No, for sure. Yeah, very unique. So um, you know, before before we jump into the questions, you want to give a little background about yourself and the brand? Oh, for sure, for sure. So uh, my name is Quentin. Uh, everybody calls me Q, uh, Cousin Q, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I'm born and raised right here in Connecticut, uh, Hartford to be exact. Uh, moved to Windsor, educated in, you know, grade school. Um, you know, went to high school in Manchester. I'm a graduate of Central Connecticut State University. So when I tell you I'm from Connecticut, I'm really from Connecticut. Yep. Um, uh, I'm a father, right? Father of three, just had a little baby boy, Onyx. Uh, my middle is London and the oldest is Omari. Um, uh, stay out here in Windsor with my lady. And uh, you know, we're just trying to do something different here with, uh, with Black Made the Brand and this business uh, pop-up shops that we've started. Um, yeah, it's just something that, uh, you know, I felt real, uh, <laughs> real sincere about, man. I just wanted to make some change in my community. So, um, you know, my background kind of brought me to this point. Um, like I said, I'm from Connecticut. I've been working in Connecticut forever. I've been working in the aerospace industry for about 15 years. Um, so even the pop-up shop, honestly, was something new for me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my background, man. I'm just a Connecticut guy. I'm a dad, man. You know, I do yoga. If that's interesting to anybody, man, I like to do Bikram yoga every once in a while. Um, other than that, man, I'm a family dude. I love just to be with my family, taking photos of me and things like that, man. Real simple dude, man. Dope. Yeah, definitely, definitely a great uh, overall uh, perspective with a lot of things. And shout out to Central, too. I graduated from there as well. Uh, so. Go Blue Devils, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> in love with the Huskies in the building, man. It's crazy. It's right. Sure. Right. <laughs> yep. So what, what inspired you to, to launch like Black Made the Brand? What was, um, you know, on the agenda and what did you, uh, you know, want to set as far as like goals with that? Right, right. So uh, Black Made the Brand started, I think, when we were in the beginning, like the thick of the, um, the pandemic. Right. right. So you got everybody who's sitting at home, you know, you know, with their families and probably got way more time on their hands than they than they usually do. You know, I mean, you think about it, uh, all these people that have been working home from for the last, what, two years or so. Um, if you ask me, I don't think nobody's really working. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, during that time frame, I got the opportunity to just do a lot of thinking and, and conversing with my significant other. Um, and like I said, it's just time, time we never had before. You know, you working so much in a day, you know, you usually only get to, you know, talk to your significant when it's you know, late night after dinner, uh, so, you know, something like that. So, you know, being in the house all day with the family, there's a lot of conversations that were happening. Um, and at the same time, I think um, when we started the company, no, I don't think, but I know, but when we started the company is at the same time frame where um, George Floyd was murdered. Um, so, you know, I kind of took that to heart. I can tell you, man, I probably watched that video almost too many times. Um, just sitting there, just seeing the, um, you know, that officer's knee on his neck um, was something that just kind of sparked me to say, man, this just, you know, this ain't right. You know what I mean? It's not like it hasn't been right for the longest of time, but um, it was just the, it was the, uh, it was the starter. You know what I mean? It was the thing that just made me say, all right, man, it's time to hit the go button. Uh, and like I said, my background, uh, you know, I come from a big family and everything, but, um, you know, I, I, I've been, uh, uh, if you want to say like you and all of us, in a sense, a little bit oppressed. Um, you know, I grew up without my father present. He was uh, um, charged with a murder that he had nothing to do with, fully exonerated about seven years ago. Um, so things like that and seeing what's happening to George Floyd is things that kind of sparked me to say, right, what are you going to do? Um, and at the same time, you know, my lady was doing her, her thing to try to understand what, what are you going to do? Um, Cause there's no way in the world that I could sit here and watch this dude get his 
um, me as <laughs> somebody with his knee on his neck and he dies right in front of the whole world and me think that I could just go on about my day and uh, um, as, as normal, you know what I mean? Um, so the whole goal um, is just, just kind of keep my people um, out of situations like that. And at the same time, invite other people, other cultures, you know, to come experience us as, uh, as business people, right? right. Uh, you know, you don't have to get personal with me, but you do have an option to get personal with me um, if you become a, a, you know, a repeat customer, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what, what inspired it is, you know, just sitting down, having conversations with my lady and, and seeing what happened to George Floyd, my own background, just put me to a point where it's like, all right, man, it's time to, time to kick in the gear and um, put some action behind, you know, anything you've been thinking about for the last, you know, 30 some odd years you've been on this earth. It's time to, it's, it's go time. Not for sure. And then, you know, I'll say from the outside looking in, you definitely executed that um, to a T. And, um, you know, that time was just a, a rough time, especially like you said, with the George Floyd situation, yeah. you know, looking at like all around Connecticut, all the protests and, you know, it's almost like everyone was just um, trying to uplift each other and come together. So, you know, what you're okay. doing from a business standpoint is just the same thing. And, you know, you're just continuing uh, the tradition. So, you know, it's definitely dope. I was definitely out there, you know, during those protests, man. I went to a few, you know, with my family. And I think it was a, uh, it was something where I just felt like I needed to yell. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just sometimes you just gotta get that type of stuff out of you, you know, that all that, you know, animosity building up inside you. I just needed to yell. Right. You know, so I went down there and, you know, we, we made signs and, and we marched to the to uh I think it was the governor's house or something down there. Um, you know, so many people and man, I was yelling. You know what I mean? Yeah, the crowd might be silent, and I just might might need to just say, talk to him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean, it, it was just, it was like you said, man. It was a tough time, and um, you know, I'm happy I got the opportunity. One thing I will say is, it was real encouraging when I was out there doing all those marches and things like that, because you know, it wasn't just black people out there that was marching with us. Like right. you said, well, everybody's trying to lift each other up at that time. Right. So it was good to see, you know, all different races. Um, you know, nationalities, you know, wh wh whatever you want to say out there for this one cause, for this one man, you know what I mean? You know, not, you know, not to mention, you know, the Breonna Taylors and, and the others who we've lost. Um, but, you know, that spark put everybody in one spot to say, you know, we all feel that this ain't right. Um, and at a minimum, everybody out there, you know, march for that. But I hope everybody out there actually put some other actions behind just going out there and marching and yelling and writing the signs up because we need a lot, a lot more than just uh, just that. Even though that has worked in, in the past historically, um, you know, sometimes you gotta put some action behind it. That's a fact too. And, you know, also during that time with the pandemic, like you mentioned, as far as from a time perspective, um, you know, everyone's working from home or unfortunately some people lost their jobs and it's just put people in the space to think about being innovative, like you said, thinking about businesses or just trying to brainstorm on, you know, next steps and stuff like that. You know, during that time, I even, you know, thought about uh, making this platform. So I feel like, you know, you definitely uh, made use of that time. And, uh, you know, so in the beginning stages, how were you able to bring so much awareness to Black Made the Brand? Like, what did you do as far as like, uh, you know, marketing and just branding and stuff? Man, it was so organic. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I, mean, I uh, you know, to start off, you know, the business, you got you to gotta be able to um, lean on your family and your friends and things like that, right? Um, so anything that I will post like on social media platform, just to start off with, right? Just to say, hey, this is what, this is what I want to do right. at a minimum. And, you know, you, I, I've adopted this motto during this time frame that all people could do is tell me no. You know what I mean? Um, and then you just got to be an adult once they say it. But if they say yes, you know, we a go. Right. Um, so during the, uh, you know, the pandemic, we're trying to figure out how we're going to, you know, get to a point of doing this. I'm just asking people like, hey, man, could you repost this? You know what I mean? Hey, you mind posting this on your story, posting this on your feed, what, Facebook? Uh, you mind sending this out to your friends? And man, I'll tell you, man, the, the, the level of, uh, of uh, you know, just love that I got from all of the, the followers, you know, and I don't want to call people followers. I'm going to call them friends, right? Because they they in the mix of this too. Um, the level of, of love that I got from them is, is, is 
man, I didn't even expect it to go like that. You know, we will have like one post that we'll put out. Um, and, you know, I may ask, and I don't do it all the time, right? I don't want to overstep boundaries or anything like that. But when I do ask is for a major one and we can go from a hundred views to, you know, a thousand plus views on a, on an Instagram story or a, or a video on our post. So that's how we started with just utilizing our people. Hey man, you mind just reposting this? I mean, we should do more of that. You know what I mean? Anybody who's watching this right now, you're a black entrepreneur out there. Um, you know, you got a business, shoot it to us, man. We'd love to promote you. You know what I mean? I know it's a lot of websites and, and, and uh, businesses that's doing it for a charge, but you know, for right now, we in a mix where we just want to get you out there, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that point where we, uh, you know, change it up. But um, yeah, you know, so just kind of lost my train of thought, dude. <laughs> no, you good. Yeah, no, definitely, you know, utilizing social media is definitely, you know, a great, a great thing. And it's free, you know, and like uh, you, you mentioned, the good thing is, you know, only the worst thing someone could do is say no, but, you know, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, you know, I think that's a good model. You, you, you're going to tell me no, and it's going to be okay. You know what right. I mean? The biggest question that I asked during the time was to um, uh, out front media. So out front media, uh, if you're driving down the, down the highway, you'll see uh, your, the billboards. You'll see either out front under them or I believe another company, uh, I think Lamar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I took it upon myself to reach out to these people to see if they would be interested in promoting my brand. Um, like I said, this is at, this is at a, a time frame, right? This is a specific time frame where I'm asking these questions. Right. Um, and I'm fearless when I'm asking these questions. Um, and the question was, hey, I'd like to put a couple black businesses on billboards. Can you guys support that? And the response was, yes, we can. So big shout out to Outfront Media because they they basically started a, our campaign where we put uh, four black businesses on a billboard, uh, basically the name of the company um, and some contact information for them as well. So people can see um, you know, hey, we got we got four black businesses. I mean, there's a lot of black businesses in Connecticut, but how many of them are you actually seeing on billboards? Um, I can't say a lot of them. Right. And at the same time, while we were working with Outfront, we also reached out to Hot 93.7, the radio station. So while these uh, guys are on the billboard, there's a uh, 60 second ad that's playing at the top of the morning and at the uh, end of your workday uh, where people can hear about these same businesses that they potentially could see on the billboard. So we were trying to put all of this together um, to make it like a powerful marketing um, campaign for all of these black businesses. Um, and I can't say that those businesses did reach out and said that they did get some positive feedback on, on what we did. So the way we got it out there was friends and family, social media, reaching out to Outfront Media, reaching out to Hot 93.7 and then just making a real campaign out of it, man. You know what I mean? They got to know the billboards coming. Um, you know, they got to know how to, you know, get in contact with you as an entrepreneur. And, and we, we definitely killed it on that one. I, I, uh, I, I could definitely say that. To say the least. Yeah. You know, you definitely, uh, you know, made some noise as far as, you know, catching everybody in all angles. Like, so people are on social media, you, you're in the car, you know, you see the billboards, you're on the radio. So definitely just capturing all ears and eyes from different angles. So you know, I, I, I applaud you for that too. Another thing, man, I don't think people really understand how uh, much promoting a, a post um, could do for you, right? That's another thing that took our views and everything from, you know, zero to 100 real quick, just because, and that's all we really spent, maybe like $20, $30, you don't even have to spend a lot. Um, but yeah, I would definitely suggest that people do that as well, man, because people don't know, you know, they won't know. And I appreciate you too, because this is just another option to get it out there. Of course, yeah, for sure. So, you know, after all the um, the marketing, you know, now, so as far as the home for Black Media brand, as far as the pop-up shops, did you always consider, like, having the back of your mind, like, okay, I want to do a mall uh, venue, or was it, like, any other venues? Oh, um, man. I remember I, I went to, a, a like, a brunch with some of my, my best friends, and we all sitting there at the brunch, and I'm just like, yo, and we do a black business pop-up shop at the mall you yeah. know you got to have a group I, I suggest you have a group of friends that you can have, talk some business with get some good feedback i got a solid group of friends that i could do that family as well 
Um, but I said it and I'm like, man, and it, it, I remember my friends looking at me like, man, this dude, like, Q, you bugging, man, what you talking about? <laughs> but they didn't say that, you know what right. I mean? They just was looking at me like, no, nah, I do it. And I'm like, I, I'm gonna do it, man, I'm gonna figure this out. Um, so I reached out to a couple malls in Connecticut. Um, and I also reached out to a large like uh, ex expo center as well. Um, now, where we ended up at Buckland is, Buckland called us back. All right, so big shout out to the shops at Buckland Hills Mall in Manchester for believing in this vision that we have. Same as Outfront Media. Um, and kind of basically saying, hey, we, we believe that the model, the objective of your company, which is to eliminate discrimination for black entrepreneurs and invite all races and, and, and backgrounds to shop and, and, and learn about our culture. Um, big shout out to those two guys for believing in that, right? Because they're the only ones who said, hey, we got a spot for you. The first spot that they put us in, I think it was close to 4,000 square feet. It was huge. I didn't expect these guys to meet me and open up the doors to this huge location. You know what I mean? It was it was unheard of, man, to be honest with you. Right. Um, and I don't, I tried to keep myself <laughs> calm when I'm telling this guy that, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna take the place, you know what I mean? But I'm looking at it like, oh, this is about to get crazy up here, man. We, you know what I mean? I'm looking at it like, man, we about to do it, man. You know, this is about to happen. Um, and we have it set up where, you know, we may move locations uh, within the same mall, um, but we're there for right now. So, yeah, so shout out to Buckland Hills Mall, man. They uh, they definitely, you know, showed us that they, uh, they believe in what we got going on here. No, for sure. And, you know, the events are dope, you know, at the mall, you know, I don't find, at least I'm not aware of too many pop-up shops, like within the mall on a consistent basis like that. So, you know, you know, if you're in the CT area every first and third Saturday, yep. the Bucklands Hill Mall, you know, definitely pop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First and third Saturdays of every month, we, we're looking to add Sundays. Um, it's all based on what vendors I have on Saturdays and if they want to stay or if we can uh, get a whole new set of vendors for the Sundays. Uh, but for right now, we focused on the Saturdays um, and our events go from 12 to seven. Um, if you're interested in being a, a, a vendor, um, you know, just reach out to us on Black Made the Brand IG or Black Made the Brand at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in contact with us. Um, yeah, man, we're just trying to do something different here, man. For sure. And I'll leave all that information in the description too. So, you know, hopefully some vendors, you know, different spectators, anyone who wants to come by, you know, could, you know, get in contact with you and be aware of the movement for sure. Sure. Definitely. So you mentioned the vendors, you know, what kind of vendors, like, you know, um, what, what type of vendors have, you know, been a part of the pop-up so far and, you know, what kind of vendors are you looking to, you know, bring on as well? All right. So uh, the space that we're in holds up to 20 vendors. Um, and I take everything I can get in there, man. Um, the space is permitted, uh, for just about everything. We can't do food. I can't do tobacco products, alcohol products, and things like that. Um, until we figure out how to do at least the food and, uh, and, uh, and um, any tobacco products. I think we will stay out of that for right now. Um, but 20 vendors we can hold inside of the location. And man, we get everything, man. Like, first of all, you already know about the sea moss wave that we got going on in there. And that wave just going crazy, you know, throughout our community where people just really focusing on their health and wellness. Um, you got uh, massive amounts of um, clothing lines, right? People trying to, you know, become the new FUBU. Right. You know what I mean? People trying to basically figure out, you know, this is my brand and I, I, I could get you real drippy too. You know, I can definitely dress you. I saw a meme one time say, you know, um, my black friend's clothing line is a designer too. You know what I'm trying to say? And we got a lot of that in there. Um, we got services in there. We got a, a guy who does junk removal. You know, maybe he's not going to sell anything in there that day, but it's an opportunity for him to bring on new customers. Um, we got a young lady in there who has aromatherapy clay. Yeah. I got a guy in there last week who was making rugs at the pop-up shop. He made a rug out of our logo. So if you're interested in getting a rug made for your brand um, or any type of photo of a, a of, I didn't even know you could do stuff like this until yeah. I got this guy at the pop-up. We bring authors, um, shout out to Sharika Ford. She's been tapped in with us since the beginning. Artists, any artists we bring in and we've had uh, one or two artists, they get to display their, 
you know, their artwork uh, to the mall, to the people, options to buy. They get to do their artwork while they're there. Uh, man, we got a little bit of everything, man. And I like to reach out um, to local restaurants, you know, black owned restaurants to see if they would be interested in, um, you know, catering lunch for the vendors. So we have that as well, man. We, we got a little bit of everything. As far as like people who have services, jerk removal, uh, moving, things like that, you know, you might not have the opportunity to sell something that day, um, but we also offer those guys opportunities to bring their banners in and just keep them in the space. If we have, if we have space for your banner in the space, then that's another opportunity for you to market yourself and your product and your service. So um, yeah, man, the, the events, the events have just been going very well, man. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I think we've sold out you know, maybe 80% of them, you know right. what I mean? And we have a lot of returning vendors that are coming back too, who are starting to make themselves like a, a staple in our location in the mall. So people know that they need to come see um, LT Savage Cosmetics and Sharika Ford and Full Profit Clothing, Double and Nothing. You know, people know that they're going to be at the mall on Saturdays now. Right. So um, it's a plus, man. It's a plus for us. It's a plus for the mall. You know, it's a plus for people look on the outside looking in who just want to, you know, come shop black. No, for sure. And also I'll add to that. It's definitely a plus as far as networking. Like you mentioned, you know, just tapping with other vend uh, vendors, different businesses, just getting ideas and brainstorming and, you know, connecting in that matter is uh, dope too. It's wonderful, man, because, you know, sometimes I sit back and just watch the vendors shop with each other. Right. You know, the mall, the mall has waves, right? So, you know, in the, in the beginning of the day, it may be a little slow. And, and, you know, later in the afternoon, it may pick up, you know what I mean? During some of the slow down times, you can just see the vendors just going and just conversing with each other, trying to figure out, hey, how, how'd you do this? Or, um, you know, just like you said, networking with each other. You know, this is what we're here for, right? Um, the motto of the company is I support you, you support me, and we support us. This isn't a moment, it's a movement, right? Now, that's the foundation of this. Right. So if you're coming into Black Made the Brand as a vendor, you got to understand that the foundation is, man, this is all love in here. And we all doing this together. You know what I mean? And for, for, for hundreds of years, we have been doing that. Right. You know what I mean? So let's take like this one year to kind of sit down and support each other. Um, we could go real far by doing that. Um, so that's, and that's my, I figure like that's my purpose here. You know what I mean? Let me take a seat and figure out how I can encourage people to just support each other. I don't care if it's my family, if I, if it's my friends, or if it's these new vendors that are becoming my friends in this process of Black Made the Brand. I just want us to have, you know, a foundation of support for each other so we can kind of, you know, progress. No, for sure. And, you know, the energy is always great in there every time I pull up. So, you know, I agree with you on that. And, you know, it's definitely just a, a wide array of, you know, different talents, different vendors, different businesses. So, you know, all that in one, one roof, you know, you know, like you said, shoppers are coming by instead of going to Macy's, like, all right, let's pull up to the, the pop-up. That's where we're going, you know, first. So, you know, definitely uh, I think it's going to go, go big. I do not remember the last time I bought something from Macy's. <laughs> I feel good about that because I was a polo head, man. And I'll tell you, that little polo section of Macy's, man, you go in there, you can get busy, man. But <laughs> I mean, now I can do the same thing at the pop-up shop. You know what I mean? So I like to rock these brands out here. I kind of feel like during the pop-up shop, I usually got their stuff on. I'm like the personal mascot for these guys. Yeah. Um, and I get the question all the time. Hey, man, that's fly, man. Where you, where you get that from? I'm like, right, right in here, man. Right, right, right. Slide and see if they got your size, man. You know what I mean? So sure. You know, you know, all support goes a long way. So it's definitely uh definitely great keeping everything in house. So that's dope. Definitely. So, you know, what, what's your philosophy on, you know, for us like starting our own brands, you know, uh, trying to step into being entrepreneurs, businesses, and just you know, you know, supporting one another. What's your philosophy on that? Well, you know, to keep it you know real with you, man, I've been working for somebody for the last 15 years. 15 how long i've been working I, don't, I think i've had my first job and i was like 12 so way <laughs> longer than 15 years but um i've been working for somebody right. for all of my life you know what i mean um and when you get the feeling of making that money for yourself is when everything kind of changes man you know especially when you're making your own hours and things like that it's just having a sense of you know ownership um 
you know, based on, you know, something that you believe in, something that you feel is your purpose. You know, I think that's what everybody should be, should be running towards. You know what I mean? It's not easy being an entrepreneur. It's not easy working, you know, for yourself. Um, and to be honest with you, I am not 100% committed. You know, like I said, I've been working for someone. My benefits are good. My pay is good. But still, um, completing a project at my job and completing this pop-up shop, two totally different fields, man. You know what I mean? And I never had that feel from before. So I encourage everybody, man, take a, take take some time to figure out how you could get that feel. You know what I mean? Figure out how you could get, you know, some money in your pocket for yourself based on the energy and effort that you put in. You know what I mean? For yourself, not for someone else. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? It's, it's difficult to do it because a lot of us probably became complacent like myself with working for people, just getting comfortable with the fact that I'm just going to wake up but I will tell you, it's not one day, man, that I woke up to prepare to go to the shop, the pop up and said, man, I don't feel like doing this. It's not one day. I wake up from my job Monday through Friday. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's weird, man. But, when, but, but you got to think about it. I do a full work week and then Saturday come and I'm like, I got to do the pop up today. I'm happy that I'm working <laughs> seven days a week over here. My lady is not. But you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, it's some light at the end of that tunnel, so. No, for sure. It's just a different feeling. I, I, I agree with that. You know, it's just a different fulfillment as far as, you know, putting something that you, you put your effort in for yourself versus, you know, oh different uh, deliverables at work, you know? So, yeah, I agree. For sure, man. For sure. Trust me. So, you know, what's your, what's your future plans with Black Me The Brand? I know you're just, you know, making some noise already. I know it's definitely, um, you know, a, a good trajectory for you, for you and uh, the brand. So what, what, what you got in store for the future? So I've been having a couple discussions with, um, you know, just some individuals from the state. Um, and when I say the state, I think it's important that I say that because Black Made the Brand right now is kind of focused with uh, individuals from the Hartford County where we trying to reach out to the other counties in Connecticut to kind of bring them to this location as well. You know what I mean? Like y'all coming out um, from Bridgeport and everything. Uh, but the next plan is to kind of get with some of these um, individuals and do some collaborations, right? Because they're having huge events as well. Um, and, you know, they reach out to me saying, hey, Q, I know you got, you know, a lot of people you've been dealing with as far as like vendors. And you think about bringing a pop-up shop to this event that we're having. And that's what we're trying to do is see if we can take the pop-up shop on the road to specific events. Um, and still keep our home base. Um, at the same time, we want to get another campaign going on the billboards and the radio. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to bring that, we're trying to bring that back in um, because when we started this, uh, the original four companies that we did, um, what we wanted to do, like I said, put them on the radio, put them on the billboard. We want to make that an every month thing where we have a, a set number of individuals where we're putting them on the where, uh, excuse me, putting them on the billboard, putting them on the radio. Um, and make that a, a intricate part, part of this business. Um, and then lastly, um, the biggest goal is, I don't think I've ever been to a, like a black business expo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a expo of all black businesses. I've heard that they have the uh, Black Wall Street down in Atlanta. And I know there's a lot of pop-up shops going on all around this world. But man, I ain't never heard of an all black business expo. Now, I've also never heard of a black business pop up shop in the mall. I'm gonna toot my horn on that. Right. Um, and I'm proud that we, we were able to make that happen. But, but we need an expo, man, you know, specifically tailored um, to the culture. Um, and we wanna invite everybody in. So, those are the plans that we have. Um, everything takes time. And I will say, man, we started off on fire. Um, so we got to just kind of humble ourselves to figure out, you know, what the path is going to be to get to, to the goal. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I feel like, you know, mo momentum's everything too. You know, I definitely think you got the great foundation already. So, you know, just hitting, hitting the boards back up with marketing and advertising, things just going to, you know, create more noise and that will just, you know, push those items on the agenda. So, you know, I'm looking forward to everything that you got in store too. So. For sure. Appreciate well, you. Bro. No doubt. So Q, I appreciate you, you know, coming on and, you know, dropping gems and, you know, being an inspiration for, for the viewers and, you know, everyone who you're impacting, whether it's at the pop-up shops or in the community. So, uh, you know, where, where can the viewers find you at on, uh, you know, social media and 
for sure. So we are uh, on Instagram primarily, uh, Black Made the Brand. That's B L A C K M A D E T H E B R A N D. Black Made the Brand, not the brand. <laughs> right. right? Um, it's kind of long. You'll see our logo pop up. It's all black, says it, and it's got those hands, you know, holding that logo up. So that's our primary location that you can find us. We've got a gentleman working on our website. We're still building up some content for him. Um, uh, we'll kind of keep what we want to do with the website on the low, just because I don't want nobody to take the idea. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the website coming. It's up, but not uh, running. Um, so primarily right now on our Instagram and then email blackmadethebrand at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in contact with me if you're interested in being a vendor or if you just want to know a little bit more about the event. Definitely. Yeah, and again, Q, yeah, I appreciate you coming on and, uh, you know, I look forward to everything. You know, it's about to be springtime, so I know it's going to be a lot more traffic and uh, a lot more blessings coming your way for sure. And we'll take it, man. Like I said, man, the mall is... It's, <laughs> It's a black business pop-up shop inside of a mall, man. <laughs> I laugh, you know what I'm saying? Because it's funny. It's just like, it's a black business pop-up shop inside of a mall, man. And you it's lit, I mean? too. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's official, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could say how I'm saying it, and everybody be like, that is crazy. But a lot of people still trying to understand, um, you know, how crazy this is. And if it's something that is worth them, you know, supporting. And I definitely encourage you to support it. Uh, we got some real black entrepreneurs who started their stuff from the mud, man, from the bottom with a dollar. You know what I mean? Five dollars up to a whole business that these guys got. I got black entrepreneurs who are just starting off coming into the pop-up shop who are just trying to get their feet wet on working for themselves. We got a little bit of everything, man. Seasoned authors are coming in this place, man. So, you know, I'm just, uh, like I said, just encouraging everybody, man. Come down. Uh, Black made the brand. We're on the upper level of Buckland Hills Mall in Manchester, Connecticut. Um, our events are on the first and third Saturday of every month. Um, and like I said, man, we got some great, great entrepreneurs, great vibe. My playlist is fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, every once in a while, we might put a DJ in there just to kind of bring, you know, a little bit more of the vibe into there. Um, you know, the, the music ain't important. Um, but it definitely does. You know how you know how our culture is, man. We like yeah, yeah. we like to move, man. So you know, I, I got people on camera paying for stuff and dancing. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, we don't get too crazy. We keep it, you know. We keep it, um, you know, respectful as far as our music goes. And, and man, just just come on down, man. We we'd love to have y'all coming in. We we welcome everybody, man. Just come on down and tap in with some of these black entrepreneurs. They really they really doing their thing, man. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, so it's been real. So the next one's going to be next week. Well, yeah, from this time of recording. Yep, first and third Saturday. So the next one is on the 19th of, uh, of March, and we'll be in there from 12 to 7. If you're interested in being a vendor, just reach out, and we can chop it up about the details. Definitely. All right, everyone, you guys heard it first. Hack Connects. Q, I appreciate you again, bro. And uh, yeah, again, you know, happy with what you're doing, and, uh, you know, definitely uh, look forward to what's in store in the future. All right. Cousin Q, Black made the brand. Y'all know the motto. I support you. You support me. We support us. This isn't a moment. It's a movement. So y'all get with the movement, man. And shout out to Hawk, man, because that that boy did a whole flyover on the mall and everything. <laughs> man. Like an airport ain't shut you down. <laughs> yeah, the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure I repost that on the page with this video too, man. But I definitely appreciate you, King. Nah, no doubt. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch for sure. We got some work to do for sure. Uh, if not, I'll see you uh, next week if you did. Yes, sir.